Hi and welcome to this tutorial. Now this guy named Sip Brady on this bin quad forum were asking about tonight uh, how he could make some tablecloth for uh, a round table he was doing in the scene. Uh, apparently he has been uh, doing a little bit of, of, of modeling on it and uh, also tried some cloth animation in Lightwave to see if he would make this happen but uh, it didn't really quite work out for him uh, so I thought, why not make a tutorial on uh, how to do this? So I'll start by making a round table here. Let's say one meter in size here, and let's add some segments also and give it a little height here and. Let's do that a little bit of bevel here. Just a simple table plane here. Let's surface this table and I will go over here and I'll make a plane. Say like this perhaps. And I'll divide this up a few times. Like this, say perhaps a little more. No, like this. Yep, and I will say this to tablecloth. Now, just for the fun of this, and also to give him a nice effect, I will UV map this tablecloth to make a nice effect on this, so you can see how to do that. Also, to get the textures to follow, so I'll go down to texture here and say new texture when I'm on these polygons here, and say cloth and I will set it to subpatched and to the uh, y axis here create and close I can then go into my surface editor here and I will go to tablecloth and to texture and I will select here on the projection a UV select the UV map and I will load a texture cloth here, let's see what do we have a fun now here, red tablecloth and as you see now let's have some smooth, we have a nice old school tablecloth here I'll move this up a bit and hit the tab key to turn on sub patches and I'll then save this object out tablecloth animation setup and I will then send to layout now here in layout I now have the tablecloth and the table plane let's turn some shading on here so we can see, I'll start by, by selecting here the tablecloth, P for properties, dynamics, add cloth. I will then go into cloth here and select collection, set collection detection by all. And I will go to gravity here and set that to minus 50 centimeters. That's uh, the part here. I'll then go to the table here. P for properties. And up here in dynamics, I'll add a collection. And in the collection table here, I'm going to. Um, uh, down here in the object type, I'm going to set object advanced. Drag this over here, and I will hit calculate and we'll see if I get this straight and as you see it stopped right before and that's because I have only 60 frames down here let's add this up to 250 and calculate again and there we have it a nice tablecloth folded around the table I'll then scroll here, 
scroll down until I think the tablecloth is probably with some folds and so on. That might be around there. Let's take a look. That looks pretty decent here, pretty live. I'll then close this and with a tablecloth selected here, I'll go up here to File and Save and select Save Transformed Object. Now by doing this, I'm saving this tablecloth in the current shape of uh, its status here. So, um, tablecloth done. I'll put here. Uh, that means you don't have to uh, to uh, add this dynamics to the tablecloth from now on. It's saved in the current position of its animation, so you could use it in uh, in any scene on a round table. Just scale it to fit and so on, and it will uh, work perfectly without having to set up dynamics. Uh, to prove this, I'll go into Modeler again, and I will load up uh, tablecloth done. Ta-da! And here we go. Nice tablecloth. As you see, it's invisible on the inside here. You can fix that by uh, going to the surface and say double-sided here. And you'll have nice inside and outside of the tablecloth. So, that's the way you could uh, do this. Um, you could also uh, take a look about stretching. Uh, this doesn't look too stretched, but sometimes you can control and the dynamics, the, the stretch value of the object. But as you see here, no dynamics at all, but a nice folded tablecloth. Easy and simple. So I um, hope this can bring you further in your project. So uh, have fun and take care. Bye bye.